morning. I'm happy that God has helped us to meet together on this uh, first day of this week. And we had a wonderful week uh, earlier and we celebrated our uh, independence and also we celebrated God <coughs> being in our house though uh, the country is locked down. So God has helped, helped us to worship Him from our home. He helped us to worship uh, His name uh, even through online and uh, nothing can stop us nobody can stop us i believe you have experienced the glory of god as you have been worshiping god from your house and today's meditation is from uh, the book of acts chapter 4 verse 10 then know this you and all the people of israel it is by the name of jesus christ of nazareth whom you crucified but whom god raised from the dead that this man stands before you healed. This is the word of uh, Peter and uh, uh, you know what is happening there. John and Peter, they uh, healed, a, healed a lame man who was sitting in front of uh, the, uh, the, at the entrance of the temple and they healed him and this became a greatest issue over there. How can they heal? Healing was not an issue but the name that they used to heal that man was the issue for those people. And they used the name of Jesus over there. It disturbed the people of Israel. It disturbed the people of people of uh, the elders of Israel. So they brought uh, Peter and John in front of the people. And also the man who was healed over there. And they brought before Peter and John. And they, in front of those elders, Peter boldly says, Remember, listen to it, my dear elders of all, all the people of Israel. This man was not healed by us. This man was not healed by our power. He was healed by the power of Christ. He was, the, he, he was healed by the name of Jesus Christ. That disturbed them so much. My dear brothers and sisters, yes, even today there is power in the name of Jesus. I don't care what is your problem. I don't care what is your disease. I don't care what you are suffering with. But I know the power, there is power in the name of Jesus. When you use the name of Jesus, you will be healed. As this man was healed and he was standing as a testimony in front of them. And I want to tell you, whenever you have a problem or whenever you have a disease or whenever you are suffering from something, remember, use the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Look at the phrase that he is using. God raised him from the dead. The same Jesus Christ whom God raised from the dead. Yes, Jesus Christ resurrected from the dead. That resurrected power is not dead anyway. He, he, the power is still there for you. So whenever you have a disease, lay your hand on it. Whenever you are free, whenever you are praying, lay your hand on the place you are suffering from and ask God in the name of Jesus and ask him, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command you. In the name of Jesus, I pray this, this is shall leave from me. So use the name of Jesus. You will see the hand of God because there is power in the name of Jesus. Even in this 21st century, the same name that healed the lame, the sick, and whatever in all the diseases in the first century is also powerful in this 21st century so do not give up pray in the name of jesus you will see the hand of god god bless you